Hey Virgo, Happy New Year 2018. I'm actually doing this video at 222. <laughs> so this is a year where a lot of you are going to actually meet your soulmate, twin flame or kindred spirit. Um, I really feel like it's going to be a good year. However, I'm getting a message for some of you Virgos that I don't know if you've been studying or just doing whatever, but I feel like the focus is going to be a little bit more on money. Um, I, I feel like you, some of you feel like you need to catch up. Like maybe you lost some money in 2017. Maybe you haven't been able to focus a lot on work or uh, making money. And I feel like that's going to be one of your focuses. Uh, at least in January, uh, you're going to be thinking more about your money. So what are the messages, Spirit, for Virgo, uh, January 2018? What are the messages? So some of you are at a crossroads. I feel like that's the theme here. You know, maybe, you know, I'm getting messages like some of you have been in the same job for a long time or the same career and you're looking for something new, something more creative, something that has more passion in it. I'm also feeling like some of you have been going to school and now it's like you just want to finish and at the same time you're thinking, well, wait a minute, now I'm getting close to finishing. What am I going to do with it exactly? Some of you are thinking about going, continuing to go to school or or, um, you know, continuing to search for that uh, niche. Now, I do feel like um, there is someone you feel bound to. That's how I'm getting the message. And I feel like that might be someone that you just met or uh, you might meet. And I get a, a caution here that you need to be careful because I feel like this person is out for themselves. I also feel like this person uh, is out for money. Uh, so really be careful on those dating sites or the people that you meet because that is what I'm picking up. Now, I'm also getting to that some of you are in a relationship um, Because two is not just meeting someone. It's also my relationship card. And 2018 is a two year. So it is focused on relationships in general. They don't have to all be love. <laughs> but I'm feeling <clears throat> there might be a disappointment in this relationship that you are already in. That has maybe caused some financial stress uh, for you. Okay, or you could be involved with a Virgo and you're listening to this video and uh, perhaps, um, you know, financial stress has been on you with this relationship. And I do feel like you do need to make decisions financially. That's going to be important. I feel like some of you are, um, I, I really get this movement here of, you know, making money, but yet some of you who want to start a business, uh, the investment is kind of tight. Okay. Um, some of you might actually be looking for someone to invest, but again, I'm, I'm getting the message that you really need to be careful in regards to who you're dealing with in, in regards to money. But things are going to be on the brighter side as we move in through January. And I'm feeling like February, after the uh, lunar eclipse, the end of January, um, I feel that work and money is going to be a lot uh, better for you. Okay. But I still feel like, um, and I want to sneeze. So definitely this is the truth. Um, okay, I'm trying not to sneeze. Uh, I, I, I feel like some of you are going to give something up to gain something else. And I feel like something does need to get, you need to let go of in order for that new to come in. Okay. Uh, and, and I'm still, I'm still on career. I'm still on work, uh, business, you know, that thing. Um, I also feel like some of you might be studying the law of attraction or, you know, abundance. Uh, and it, this would be good for you to study the law of attraction or abundance because I really feel like you'll get it. 
and I feel like it, it'll work well for you. Okay, especially when we come to the star. Now, when I look at the star, I just feel like um, this could have something to do with an Aquarius also. And a Cancer could be involved. Uh, you could be, some of you could be with an Aquarius or Cancer. Uh, but I, what I'm getting here is maybe you're dreaming about them. Maybe you're hoping things will come uh, together. But I don't, this could also be involving a Gemini. Um, I, I, you know, I don't get really good feelings about this, this, uh, relationship. I'm feeling like there's a lot of dreaming, uh, about what could be. And at the same time, I'm getting like, I don't feel like this person's faithful. Like I do, I feel like they, they are not faithful at all. And, uh, it's possible too, they could be hitched, you know, married or committed and uh, you're hoping that they're going to leave their spouse. And I'm not getting that. At least not for January anyways. Um, all right. So I'm going to leave it like this. So I'm going to pull some love cards soon. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm picking up here. Uh, what I just said. I'm just looking over the cards and see if there's any other messages that are speaking to me here. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the two of cups and then I'm looking at the king of cups. This involves a cancer. Again, I'm feeling a cancer here. And um, I'm not relating these two cards to the cancer. But as I look at the cards here, I look at the seven of uh, pentacles. And I'm just wondering, like, maybe you should stop working so hard on this relationship and kind of just let it be. Just let it be and, and see where it goes there. Because I feel like that you're working on this relationship way too much. Um, and I also feel like you're worrying about it. So let's go ahead and um, pull some love cards so we can get some ooh, more answers. So here's your soulmate. And it says, yes, this is your soulmate. Now I was speaking about cancer, so that could be your soulmate. Um, I was speaking about cancer, sorry. But here it's let go of control issues. So just in general, like maybe some, you know, maybe you have some insecurities or maybe you're a little bit too judgmental on the relationship. And, and what Spirit is saying is to, you need to just let, uh, let, let go. Just let go and let be and let the situation uh, unfold as it should be instead of worrying about if this person's being faithful or is this person, um, does this person love me? Uh, there's, there's definitely more healing that needs to be done here. Um, and I feel like they're a good vacation, a vacation somewhere. Like there's some really good deals in January. Uh, but it looks like it could be someone who's coming back from the past. But let's get back on the vacation. I feel like some of you would do well to go on a spa retreat or a yoga retreat or, you know, some kind of spiritual retreat where you're just like practicing on letting go and just being you, your authentic self, and just clearing energy. Like I feel like January with the super uh, eclipse moon, at the end of the month, just working on freeing yourself. Um, I feel like somebody's coming back from the past or somebody could come back from the past. But I'm still feeling like the person hasn't changed. And this... Um, okay. You know, you might find out some information about somebody that you cared for in the past that left you or you decided to end that relationship that they may be engaged to someone else. But I also feel like someone from the past is coming back. Okay. And this actually could lead to uh, an engagement. It, I think that this person, there's one, there's a feeling I get that hasn't changed much. And then I get this feeling that there is, you know, you're really just going to have to check it out because a lot of you Virgos are watching this video right now. And I can't say, hey, you forget this person and you, hey, try to make it work. Okay. Um, 
But I do feel like someone is coming from the past. And I do feel like it is a soulmate. And I also feel like the ones, you guys who are with your soulmates right now, you know, let go of the control. Let go of the control. Okay, let's let's look and see what, I'm pulling uh, one, two, maybe three cards, whatever comes out from Spirit uh, regarding, um, I mean, coming from the Energy Oracle cards from by Sandra Ann Taylor. Okay. So we're going to see what messages come here. What are the messages for Virgo, January 2017? Virgo, Virgo. Blossoming Abundance. That's a beautiful card. I mean, some of you, I just feel like I'm being drawn to the law of vibration, the law of attraction here, that some of you are really getting into that and that you want to go further with this you want to study it and, and be it and become and there's the strategy and see this is, says journal key or journal log so what i feel like is while you're manifesting and you want the abundance to happen we've got the three and then we got 21 that equals a three great numbers to be creative and to really um you know, really begin uh, new things. You know, I feel like new things are coming about in 2018. Uh, but I feel like you need to journal. I feel like you need to write down and really see what it is that's flowing from your spirit. You know, do some auto writing. Do some psychic writing. Just let it go. Don't worry about, oh, wait a minute. Let me, you know, I'm writing this down. Well, wait, I don't think that fits me. Just write. I'm just seeing if there's one more card. Is there one more card, Spirit? I don't know why I feel like there's one more card. One more card. Yep, there it is. Happy family. So some of you, I feel, okay, the message that's coming here is you're going to be working with family. Okay? I feel like that family has a lot to do with the healing family issues. That I feel like this year, 2018, is a good year to bring you guys together. There may have been some indifferences, uh, some lack of communication, misunderstandings in the past. And I really feel you working on your abundance and law of attraction is also going to do a lot of releasing in regards to family. And I feel like your perception is going to change in regards to family. Also picking up children some of you may be planning on having children or children on the way um, I just feel happiness there's the rainbow the number four it's such a beautiful number look it up to me it's another angelic number that just really means that the universe is working with you the universe is on your side okay if you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at www.transformationandempowerment.com. Please remember to check your moon and rising as this reading isn't going to resonate with all of you. You can also find me besides on my website at Instinko, which is an iOS Apple um, app. Uh, you can download it for free and you can reach me. Um, the link is below this video. Uh, for a quick question, up to 160 characters is $5, either question or chat. And, um, you know, I will answer you within the day. Okay. So, and if you wanted to call me on there, it's $2 a minute. All right. I, I, I will make a video on this eventually. <laughs> I'm getting there. But uh, I look forward, uh, Virgo, for you to have an awesome year. Um, completion and starting new things. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, but anyways, I wish you abundance, love, and blessings 2018. And uh, take care. I've got some new cards coming, so that'll be exciting. Okay, much love and blessings.